guys. I thought I would pop on here quick while my 15 month old is sleeping for his nap. I don't get much time to do these videos anymore with the three of them now. If you're new, I'm Lucy, I'm mom to three boys. I have Charlie who is seven, Noah is four, and Jack who's sleeping is 15 months now. I know potty training is really daunting for a lot of people, so I wanted to share a few of the things that we do pre-potty training before we even start potty training to kind of help him familiarize with what's gonna happen with the toilet, with going potty in a certain spot. I did not do any of this with my firstborn. Charlie, when he was potty training, we wanted to do it right before he turned two because he was going to a preschool that required him to be potty trained. I read Oh Crap Potty Training, highly recommend it. I know what you're thinking. I'm not reading a whole book about potty training, but it's not long, it's super quick. Honestly, I don't even have time to like sit and read actual books now. I just listen to it as an audiobook. She's snarky to the point, gives you all the tools that you need to be able to potty train. Highly recommend that book. But with him, we didn't do any of these pre potty training things. So with Noah, with my second born, it kind of happened naturally. I didn't do them on purpose, but he was just naked more because if you're familiar with my channel, my boys are always naked. <laughs> I don't know why, like I, they get home and they just strip. Leave a comment if your kids do the same thing. So he'd be running around here and yes, he would pee on the floor. And so when he would start to pee on the floor, we would do what we would do during potty training, except just without without um, the urgency, right? So if he started peeing like back here on the carpet, which has had tons of pee on, all over it, pee and poop. Um, yeah, that's my house. If he started peeing on the floor back here, I'd say, no, no, and I'd pick him up and I'd walk him to the toilet. And I honestly didn't even have the little potty out yet because we weren't potty training. So it was just the big toilet, which we have a, a seat for toddlers. It's like a double seat. There's one for grownups and one for toddlers anyway. So we would take him there and kind of set him down and say, pee pee goes in the potty. And at first they don't, they don't pee pee in there. They don't do anything. It's like, whatever, fine mom. I just wanted to pop on here quick to say that I forgot to mention if you don't have a little potty toilet seat, you can just put them on the regular toilet seat and you kind of prop them up with your your arm. So you kind of spread their legs wide and you kind of wrap your arm around them and hold them up. So their butt's kind of hanging in just slightly into the toilet. So especially for boys, you kind of need them lower down like that. But I just forgot to mention that. So I wanted to pop in quick and say that. Then you you can, you can diaper them if you're like, oh my God, they peed on the floor. I don't want to deal with this. Then you can just diaper them and it's time for diapers now. And then you clean up the pee. But that naked time of them actually seeing the pee come out of their body and being like, oh, look at this that I just did on the floor. I don't know, it just familiarizes them with it. And if, especially if you can catch them doing it and say, no, no, not not kind of frantic or, or mad or anything, just very calmly, like, no, no, pee pee goes on the potty, very matter of factly. So if they start pooping on the floor, same idea. No, no, poo poo goes in the potty. With poop, make sure you get the kid first. <laughs> make sure you take them to the potty. If they poop in there, great. If not, you probably wanna put a diaper on because they're probably not finished and you don't wanna be cleaning up poop off the floor and then have them pooping in a, in a different spot. Okay, I just wanted to pop on here again. Essentially what I'm trying to say here is you just have to be okay with pee and poop getting on your floor. I feel like once you've been a mom for a long time, it's just not a big deal anymore. And I feel like that attitude just makes potty training so much easier. Just being okay with having pee and poop knowing that it's gonna happen, right? Potty training entails a lot of pee and poop ending up on the floor and being okay with that and not freaking out and not caring really, it just, it just makes potty training easier and better for everyone. So that's my second and he honestly, he was crazy. He started taking himself to the bathroom like and when he needed to pee, anytime he was naked. Now, if he had a diaper on, he wouldn't do that. But if he was naked, he eventually just started taking himself to the toilet and we were like 18 months old. He were like, okay, I guess we're potty training you at 18 months old. Cause you're basically doing this yourself when you're naked. Another great way is to just let them see you pee and poop in the potty, show them what you're doing. Let them see big brother poop and pee in the potty, etc. Don't make it a shy thing. It's a very natural thing and it needs to be like kind of shown to them. 
So that was my second child with Jack. We're doing the same thing. He's naked quite often, two older brothers. They're running around naked all the time around this house. I can barely get any videos done because they're just naked. And we've started doing the same thing where the first time he peed on the floor, he peed all over the floor, you know, and I took him to the potty and said, no pee pee. He didn't pee in the potty. The first few times he didn't. But we're at the point now where if he pees a little squirt on the, on the carpet, he comes and gets me and he's like, eh, eh, and he, shows it to me and I take him to the potty. He actually pees and I kind of, when I sit him down on the potty, I say, I say, okay, now go pee pee, go shh. That noise helps them shh. And then I say, push it out. And I kind of make a pushing sound. If he's pooped, I say, do you need to poop? Uh, push your poop out. And anyway, if he tries to get up off the potty, no pressure. I let him get up. We put a diaper on or we continue being naked if he's gone. Like, no pressure at all. This is not potty training. This is just, hey, if you're naked, you're not supposed to pee on the floor. You're supposed to pee in the potty, right? Another thing we did with Noah, with my second, was that he was in cloth diapers a lot. Now, I still have my cloth diapers, but Mama's the third kid. I'm barely using them. I'm like, you're in pull-ups. This kid is in pull-ups. As soon as he was up and walking around, we switched to pull-ups. Pull-ups are just so much easier for a kid that wants to be up and about. It's like putting on shorts instead of trying to strap the diaper on. So that's a totally different hack, I guess. But yeah, he's in pull-ups. We barely ever use the cloth. But with Noah, when we were using cloth, you have to, when they poop, in the cloth diaper, you have to kind of flop it into the toilet. So he would see us putting his poop in the toilet and he would let, he liked it. He liked seeing the poop go in. We'd say, bye bye poop. And he would do the flushing. So just letting them help you, letting them flush the toilet for you. If they're, if they're in there trying to sit on your lap while you're doing your business, let them flush for you. Let them close the lid. Um, you kind of have to keep your toilet pretty clean for this because and in, I know you're probably worried like, oh, he's going to stick his hands in the toilet. Yes, they do try that at first, but they do learn. Like you tell them now, they, they end up learning not to do that. So they do it less and less as they get older. But yeah, unfortunately, as the third child, he has had his hands in the toilet, in his poop. Oh, I don't even know. So many places that he shouldn't have had his hands. Guys, it's really that simple. That's it. I don't have a lot of things to do here. It's just really just naked time and getting them familiarized with where pee and poop goes when they get older. That's it. If you're scared of naked time, if you're a first time parent and you actually have nice things in your home, <laughs> then you can pick, like roll that nice carpet up for while you're doing this. I don't know, or just only let them be naked in certain areas of your house. If you wanna get your kid ready for potty training before it's time to potty train, naked time is a great way to do that. So if you can find a way to do that within your beautiful home that's not destroyed by pee and poop already, then that would be beneficial to you for when you do start. I have videos on potty training, nighttime potty training, cause no one talks about that. I have videos on potty training. Sleep training, no. I, I just can't, I can't. If it involves crying and like leaving them to cry, I can't do it. So uh, potty training, yes. I have lots of videos on that. Sleep training, no, sorry, I can't help you there. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want more content. It's just anything that helps me get through my everyday as a mom in the hopes that it will help you as well. And I hope you'll stick around and join my little growing YouTube family. Poop is the best. Poop is the best. <laughs> <laughs>